Good afternoon everybody, this is Nell Karoko again and today we will answer a new question from my friend. Ile asked me, I am working on a supermarket project and I would like to use ring lights like the photo below. Ooh, ring lights. Uh, of different sizes above the transport belt that brings people from parking area. But once I imported the IS file into Dialux, it shows as a disk not a ring please see picture below how can i make where's that ring oh i think this is the ring i think okay so how can i make it a ring sincerely eloy binetti okay so eloy sent us ah so this is the ring all right so eloy i already downloaded the is file that you sent me and i will check if it's really a ring or not a ring and actually i'm trying to find out because one of my friends in facebook created a small tutorial on how to create that kind of ring and as far as i can remember anyways okay so let's go and use that one so i downloaded the photo photometric file now and i will import now here in one of my supermarket project which i think i use in a barisol lighting tutorial okay so I will import it now, uh, luminar file, and then I put it in my desktop. I think this is the circular with 40 watts. Okay, I'll say next. Okay, let's place it here and let's see how it looks. Yep, it's, it's, yeah, it's a circular. <laughs> okay, and now let's import the other one, which is this one. Uh, the bigger one import luminar file and then this is the 80 watt with uh, 1.2 meter diameter and let's place it individually like this okay so you can see it's really uh, circular not a ring so how to make this one a ring like this one so one of my friend in uh, Facebook I told you is he created something like this and if you do this if you want to do the same you need to edit your photometric file and you need to create you need to create a ring like like this ring so how to do that it's very easy all you need to do is go here and create your first the ring so i'll go to the object tab and i'll select this ring first so i'll go and select the um, vertical cylinder let's make it a little smooth first vertical cylinder and I will make the segment as 32 segments then I'll place it here then I'll make it 1.2 1.2 and 0 0.038 enter and then I'll create a ring so I'll copy this one control C control V and I'll make it I will scale it like 1.1 by 1.1 yep i think this is fine and then i will select the two and then i will subtract okay use the boolean operation and then press subtract select the bigger uh, circle make sure it's highlighted and then press subtract and then it should be look like boom yes it should be look like this where's my ring there there you go this is my ring okay so i will create a new one which is control uh, so I will just maybe copy this one and then create a 60 diameter or I, I'll just create a new one. Now I have two circles. One is 0.6 and the other is 1.2. I will move it now here in front of my vegetable area. And I'll make this height of these two objects to be say um, 3 meters. And let's go and see it. There you go. Now I have my ring. But where is my light? So I need to edit that photometric file first. But to do that first, let's go and check the total lumen output and wattage because I need to make sure that the output of this ring will be the same when I edit it. Okay, so I have uh, 6,700 lumen and then 78 watt. So I'll go and... Um, check the data here yep and also the other one here 
and then again I will check this data so now I have these two files and then maybe I need to just screenshot so I have the copy so print screen and then go to the paint and then new control V there you go so I have the copy of this one now and then I will clear now my um, history so I'll delete this and then I'll go here and I need to make sure that it's all it's deleted history yeah so it's it's now selected here because this is the last one that I selected so I'll go and remove yep how about the other one so I'll delete it and I'll go here and then I'll say again remove okay now those two are now deleted in my history so I can import it now file import luminaire file and then I'll select this um, 600 watt first say yes and then I'll make this one as small LED strip like a small LED like this one so it will fit on my ring okay so for now I'll just make it point 0.1 or say no point uh, say yeah because my ring size is point 0.1 so let's go and say point 0.1 and then this one is also point 0.1 and then this one I'll make it 0 0.05 yeah because the thickness of uh, the width of my ring is 0 0.05 and then 0 0.038 oh shoot 0 0.1 yep and then finish now I have a very slim LED now and then I'll go to a circular arrangement and I'll place it here like this there you go now I think it's fitting I just need to make sure it's in the center okay Okay, I, am, I should made it 0 0.04 instead and then just increase the the numbers let's say 20 pieces okay I think 18 is enough uh, 19 I think perfect so it should be no gap in between here and that is okay and that's okay now so you can see now that my ring is here and I need to move it down to my uh, uh, ring object. So where is my ring object? So I'll go and move it. Move and then put it down. And I think I made it mounting height as 3 meters. Yes, it's 3 meters. So let's double check in the elevation view if it's properly placed. So the thickness is right there. Okay. I think this is fine. And now I have my ring light. Look at that one. And because as per the lumen out output, the 600 watt should uh, the 60 dia diameter should have 3636 lumen. And you need to divide uh, the number of the quantity of this uh photometric file into because I made it 19 19 pieces so we need to edit the photometric data so go and change it either press it here or on the lamp tab so let's just make it change it here and then if you divide for example this uh, 9 uh, 3636 divided by 19 let's just calculate it Okay, I'm going to use the calculator. So 36 three, six divided by 19. So the answer is 191.36. So this one should be 191.36. And the wattage should be again divided. So it should be 37.2 watt divided by 19 is equals to 1.96. So 1, let's make it. 1.96 so so that the overall and the uh, the lumen output will be the same so don't forget to press the word of apply and if you can see this fitting looks like a 4000 Kelvin so let's just change the color into 4000 Kelvin so let's change blank radiator into 4000 Kelvin oops and then apply it again press the word apply so it should be one uh, white color 
Alright, so now I have my first uh, ring. So how about the other one? So let's just do the same for the other one. Okay, so um, I can just select this one and then copy it here. Or if you want to have a precise photometric data, then go and again import the same. So luminar file and then select the 1.2 diameter. And then again, we will do the same for this one. Say this is 0.1 and then 0.1. And this one is, let's make it 0 0.04, 0 0.045, 0 0.045, and this one is 0 0.01. And then finish. Okay, and then you can place again with the circular arrangements, similar to what we did a while ago. And then make sure that your fit thing is in the middle of the ring. And look at that. I think it's perfect. It's exact here in my ring and then let's make the quantity more like says let's try 30 okay it's not enough 32 let's make it 35 oh let's make it 38 um okay there's no more gap i think 37 is fine let's go and say 37 no 38 is good okay so there's no gap and let's put it again with the same height like three meters so mounting height three meters enter there you go so it's in the level of my ring now let's go to the elevation view and check it okay i think this is perfect so again similar to that one we need to calculate this uh, lumen output because you, sh you have to make sure that you have the same lumen output for this ring so go and check our screenshot it says 6821 lumen so 6821 divided by 38 equals 179 so the lumen output of one LED should be um, 179.65 so go and select it and then go and go to the photometric photometric data and change it and let's change it went to uh 179.65 so 179.65 enter oops i forget the point okay it's not giving a decimal point so i'll just go and say 179 each yep and then the wattage is 78.2, so we need to change it with uh, something like 78.2 divided by 38. So it's, let's say make it 2 watt for each LED. And then enter. And then make it LED. If you want to change it, this one change into... Do not change the value here. You need to make sure you change it here at the spectrum. 4000 Kelvin and then apply. Okay, 179, 2 watts, and then LED, and then let's label it as 1.2 dia, diameter. Okay, and then apply. There you go. So now we have two rings, and let's see how it looks when we run our lighting calculation. So go and calculate it. Okay, I think it's too... Thin. There you go. I think this is fine. Okay, so let's just wait to calculate it. And then actually you can copy this one to create your amazing ring like this. And you can orient or rotate it also if you like. Okay, let's just check first how it looks.